next sets of little butt connectors. They look kind of like this. These are actually a different kind, but they look kind of like this, okay? These are um, solder ones, so you would not use these with this, but you've seen ones where they are red, yellow, and blue, but it's all red, yellow, and blue, and you stick the wires in both ends until the wires touch in the middle, and then you crimp it. You also get ends. So for example, do they have pictures I can show you on here? Yeah, there you go. So you can get, you know, little ends like that. Okay, so you stick your wire in there, you crimp it, and then you can also heat shrink it. These will also shrink. So you get waterproofing, sealing, and a physical connection at the same time. So the, normally, you know, you like me, you grab yourself a, a nearby pair of pliers and you start pounding on it until they close. Well, this is the correct cool tool to actually use those things. <laughs> so as you can see, they're actually marked. Yellow, blue, and red. This is a ratcheting. So you can see they're staying shut until they click and then they open. So they ratchet, you know, click, 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 click until you get to the end, it pops. That pop at the end, that tells you you've compressed it far enough to put the proper amount of force on there. Think of it as a, um, um, a torque wrench. So that tells you you've done it enough to go all the way, release, and now your part is finished. Because if you keep, you know, just wrenching on it, you're going to tear apart the heat shrink tubing. You're going to, you know, mess up the butt connector itself. So you want one smooth motion. You compress until it pops. You're done. Then you hit it with a lighter or a hot air gun to shrink the tube, and you're done. This makes it so much faster, so much cleaner, and makes your connections so much more reliable. Because that's the big thing. If you don't compress these correctly, your connections won't be reliable. This gives you a proper, reliable connection every single time. Looks like they're going for the um, the Irwin style color scheme. You know that yellow and blue of Irwin tools, but feels nice. The overmolding feels nice. The tool itself is more than heavy enough. I don't see any quality control issues. It looks well made. Not bad. Handy little tool. This will get a lot of use in my household. Okay, today um, I'll be. Using Veronica, whatever it is, uh, crimping tool, electrical, spades, connectors, apparently, specifically, call this a heat shrink one. <clears throat> I don't know if you can hear it, crimping action sounds really good, the handles feel amazing. get it in here but the actual crimping parts look great and they look like they're interchangeable just in case you messed them up um i did some crimping with this earlier that's pretty good it works pretty well it releases pretty well Does all the things you need um what else quality seems good yeah it even comes with a little guard to keep you out of it your fingers So I won't hurt myself. Okay. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to be demonstrating the use of the Hasetronica crimper. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. So first, what we're going to do is uh, we've got a heat shrink uh, spade connector and uh, number 10 wire and what I'm going to do first is uh, go ahead and strip a little bit of that wire away twist it up put it on the connector and then we're going to crimp it there nice and tight and then finally, that's the last step, we're going to heat shrink it. And we're all done. It's that easy.